Hello everyone and welcome to Spring Academy. This is the first episode from the Q&A series when I answer the questions you ask me or the questions that I find frequently on the web. And today's question is, what is the best way to work with multiple Java versions on your development machine? Since Java 11 is on the market, many of us want to try it and some maybe even use it in production environment, but we still want to keep Java 8 as our primary JDK. Also, we want to be able to easily install updates and switch between these JDKs. And currently, the best tool on the market that makes this whole process a breeze is called SDK Man. SDK Man is a command line tool. On Mac and Linux, the installation is extremely easy. On Windows, you have to have either Sigwin or Git Bash installed but you can just follow the steps in the documentation. Once SDK Man is installed, you just go to your terminal, type SDK list Java to see all the versions available in SDK Man. And you may notice that there are not only different version numbers, but also different distributions. So you can choose if you want to have a JDK from Oracle, Zulu, or from OpenJDK. And now let's install Java version 8 and Java version 11. You have to copy paste the version number and just type SDK install Java and paste the version number. Installation depends, can take a while. I can choose to use this version as a default, I will do so. And now if I type Java version, it will show me that it's version 11. So, but I want to be able to switch back to Java 8, right? So what can I do now? I can type again SDK list java whoops sdk list java to see which version do i have installed and the one with asterisk are the ones that are installed and i can just again copy this version and say sdk use java and the version so now if i do java dash version it will be java 1.8 and the last step is to tell your ide where your newly installed jdk is in my case, I'm using IntelliJ, so when I create a new Spring Boot project and I can choose here Project SDK, I click New and select the JDK. And SDK Man installs all the JDKs in your home directory in a hidden folder .SDK Man, which is by default not visible here. So what I have to do is I have to show hidden files. On Mac, it's Command Shift Dot and find a directory called .SDK Man. Here it's in candidates, Java, and then I just can select my version over here. So now if I select it like that, it shows the project SDK is Java 11. As a side note, Java is just the one type of SDK that SDK Man supports. You can also install Scala, Groovy, Kotlin, and SDKs for frameworks like Gradle, Spring, Micronaut, and, and much more. The list is pretty long. If you have any question about Java, Spring or Kotlin, you are more than welcome to ask it in the comment or fill up the form at springacademy.io slash QA. I can't promise, but I will do my best to answer it in the form of such a short video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please click the like button down below and I hope to see you next time.